Hi, my name is Adam and I work for HP. Today I'm going to show you the unboxing, setup, and installation of the HP MV4520 printer. So this is the HP MV4520 printer. The first thing we're going to do is open the box. Inside the box you will find a bag with all the paperwork for your printer. The first item in the bag is the start here guide, which is the basic setup instructions for this printer, similar to what we were showing in this video. The next item is the HP Instant Ink Card. HP offers a subscription service for replacement ink. If you subscribe, your printer will order ink automatically for you based on the subscription plan that you choose. Next is the user guide. This provides information on setting up additional features for your printer, such as fax and web services. This is the HP Ink Cartridge Caution Flyer. Lastly, there is an installation CD for both Windows and Mac. If in the future you misplace this disk, you can download the software and drivers at 123.hp.com forward slash nv4520. Next in the box, we have the cartridges. These are the 63 black and tricolor cartridges, which we will install later. The final thing on top is the power cord. Make sure you always use the power cord that came with your printer. Remove the cardboard and set it aside for recycling. Now we can remove the printer from the box. Set the box on its side and make sure the bottom of the printer faces down. Then use the clear plastic bag to slide the printer out of the box. Remove the styrofoam end caps. And now remove the printer from the bag. Next, lift the scanner lid and remove the foam sheet. Remove the sticker and paper covering the control panel. Now remove any blue tape from the printer. Slide out the paper input tray and remove the tape from there. Then slide out the paper width guides and close the input tray. Next, use the handles on the sides of the printer to open the top cover and remove the cardboard restraint from in there. I'm going to check inside the paper path to make sure there's nothing in there. Nope, nothing. Go ahead and close that back up and then close the top cover. Now let's connect the power cord. Go to the back of the printer. You're going to connect the cord to the port. Remove the twist tie from the power cord and plug it into the rear of the printer. Make sure it's firmly in place. Now we're going to plug the other end of the cord into a wall outlet. HP recommends using a wall outlet for best performance. Press the power button. The printer will begin initializing and make some noise. From the printer control panel, select your language and then touch yes to confirm. Then select your country or region and touch yes. Now we're going to install the cartridges that came with the printer. 
open the ink cartridge access door. Then we are going to open the tricolor cartridge first. Just remove the cartridge from the packaging. Next, remove the tape by pulling the orange pull tab. In the printer, lift the lid for tricolor, which is on the left. Then set the cartridge in the slot and close the lid so it snaps into place. Next, we will do the same for the black cartridge. Open the packaging. And remove the tape by pulling the orange pull tab. Lift the lid for the black and set the cartridge in. Then close the lid. Close the top cover of the printer. On the control panel, touch OK. Now we will load paper. Slide out the paper input tray and align a stack of plain white paper and load it into the tray. Adjust the paper width guides and slide in the input tray. Touch yes to confirm you loaded plain white paper and then touch done. The printer will then print an alignment page an alignment is necessary when setting up your printer because it is what calibrates it for the best possible printouts. Once the alignment page prints, you must scan it to finish the calibration. Grab the alignment page and lift the scanner lid. Place the alignment page face down in the lower right corner of the scanner bed. Close the lid and then touch OK to scan the alignment page. Once you receive the alignment successful screen, touch OK. At this point, we can set up the software on your computer. Go to your computer and open the web browser of your choice. From the address bar, go to 123.hp.com forward slash setup. Click the download button to begin downloading the software for your printer. Click run or open the downloaded file if you're using a different browser. The installer extracts and then opens. If prompted by the user account control in Windows, click yes. The HP Easy Start utility opens. HP Easy Start will connect your printer to the network, activate and register your printer, and install the latest drivers and software. Click Continue. Click the checkbox to agree to the terms, and then click Continue. HP Easy Start detects your printer. To automatically connect your printer to the same wireless network your computer is connected to, make sure Enable HP Auto Wireless Connect is checked, and then click Continue. The installer connects to the printer and applies the wireless settings from your computer to your printer. Click the checkbox to agree to the terms and then click continue. Here you can set up a free trial for Instant Ink. If you want to start your trial, click yes, activate. In this video, we're going to click no, do not activate. Click no thanks. At this point, you can activate and register your printer. Again, for this video, we're going to skip without activating. Select how you will primarily use your printer and put in your postal code. Click Continue. Now the installer will check HP servers for the latest software and drivers for your printer. HP recommends using the full software and drivers to get the most out of your printer. Click Continue to start downloading the software. Once downloaded, the printer software installation will extract and then open. From this screen, you can customize your software selections. Click Next. Click the checkbox to agree to the terms, and then click Next. 
Now all the software and drivers install. The installer detects the printer on the network and installs it. Click how you will use your printer and enter your postal code one more time. Click next to finish setting up the software for your printer. Back on the printer, remove the web services information sheet. You can use this sheet if you want to set up ePrinting or add your printer to HP Connected. After the software is finished installing, you'll be asked if you want to activate the HP Instant Ink trial. For this video, we're going to click No, Do Not Activate. Click No Thanks. You'll be prompted to activate and register your printer once more if you have not already done so. I'm going to click Skip Without Activating. And that completes the software setup for your printer. Click Finish. HP Connected will open automatically. This is where you can set up your printer for ePrinting as well as manage other web services. This has been the unboxing, setup, and installation of the HP MV4520 printer. You can find additional helpful videos at hp.com forward slash support videos and on our YouTube channel, youtube.com forward slash HP Printer Support.